Okay, I'm gonna start a new game. Sorry, Mr. Call, you yeah, no problem. Twenty seven on the buzzer. Enough time to clean up. Okay. Yes, I'm. A, I'm aware. Insurance fraud, lost cars, estranged lovers should probably get rid of some of these old case files eventually. No, I just hoard. Use the mouse to drag items. Let's get that out of here. What do I drag this? We go green, oh green at 4 p.m. How do I back out of here? Oh, escape. Dan thinks I working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time. I'm in Fusseldale when I have cash, so never. Notes on the fridge. Call mom, buy soap, buy pills, pay bills. <laughs> Don't die. Photochemicals, gonna need that. Leaving developers in the kitchen is sure road to poisoning or great soup. Place dishes. Wash these later, probably not. Place the chemicals. Everything knows its proper place, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. I'm looking for Detective Loiter. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green. At your service, Mrs. Green. I trust you've had a pleasant day. Mrs. Green, how can I help you? You were vague when we spoke before. Please, just how dead is fine. I'd rather be screet with this matter, that's all. Noted, what are we dealing with? I am, um, well, I understand that sort of thing is routine in this line of work, but it's about my husband, you see. Is he missing? Do you suspect he's cheating? Yes, I'm pretty sure. See, he's been acting so strange lately. Every time I try to talk to him, he gets... But no matter. I just want proof that'll hold up in court. Court, planning on filing a divorce. You try talking to him? If he's indeed having an affair, or what? What can I get? I can get you what you want. Understood. I'll need a picture and some information about his routine. Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? Where can I find him usually? Well, supposedly he goes to work and then comes home, but I know sometimes he goes elsewhere. After work. Occasionally before. It's become more frequent. Hold up. How do you know he goes somewhere else after work? He hasn't been hiding well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies. It smells funny. What's the funny smell? Like perfume, not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something else I can't pinpoint. But it's poignant. A kind of herbal stink. All right, that's good stuff. Now let's talk about your personal husband's personal details. And you've got him lying. He's bad at it. Makes lame excuses about where he's been. How do you know he's been missing work? Apes. I feel so ashamed. He's going to be terminated if he continues like this. I've gotten calls. At first they wonder if he was homesick. I lied for him a couple of times, too. One last thing. Alright, that's good stuff. Don't talk about it. What time do you get home when we're going late? Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? Have you met any of his friends? I haven't met them, but he mentions some guys from time to time. Sometimes he hangs- Oh, that's a loud piano chord. 
Sometimes he hangs out with them after work. What does he look like? What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people call him Jez for short. What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A bit shorter than you, kind of chunky, wears glasses, the square kind, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase. To and from work. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank, on Granville. I can write the address down for you. Anyway. Anyway, I'd be able to pick him out of a crowd. Well, I lay his clothes out of him every morning. He has... He has to wear a suit for work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. You always wear green? Is she pregnant? <laughs> That's all I need. Now the awkward part. Payment. I can get you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Would that be enough? Yes, plus any expected expenses during the investigation. I've got a lot riding on this, and I only get one shot. Funds are limited, you know. What assurance can you make that you're a right man for the job? I bet my tail you were here because... Someone else recommended me. You're not wrong, but that's just one case I know you've helped sort. Are there others? That's confidential. That's not very reassuring. I'm good at what I do, Odette. If I wasn't, I wouldn't be allowed to practice. I hope so. It's very important you don't get caught. Do you understand? Of course. I'll get right on it, Odette. Talk soon. Get out of my office. Tab. Detective menu. My office. Notes to self. Media set is bricked. Odette Green, client. Wants proof of her husband's affair. We got it. Task, surveillance, photographic, or other substantial evidence of infidelity. Target Jeremy Green, alias Jez. Otter, chubby, average height. Square glasses. Works at Wolfbank on Granville. 9 to 1900 uh, hours. Should be a good place to pick up his trip. Okay. So we're going to change it this time. And do the right thing. Granville smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Alright, we already looked at Furman and Sons and stuff like that in the first go around. Antle. Antali is not going to tell us anything new. Hey man, we're two. Looking for someone. Got a moment? Antali, it's me, Howard. How's it going the kids? We're not going to get sidetracked this time. I don't care about his kids. Nah, I have no business remembering people. Want to hear a great story, man? Maybe later. Seen a male author, otter with a briefcase around here recently? Nah. So my wife is Chella and I. <laughs> we got a second lad coming up soon. Second? You guys are lucky. We are, we are, and it's a big one. Essie is as round as a beach ball, so I tell her, woman, you get any bigger, and I won't fit you into a trunk of a car. You scallywag, you. Great, can you answer a couple of my questions first? <laughs> nah. She just turns to me with eyes of a killer and says, hand me the bread, honey. Haha, <laughs> oh boy, women, man, women be shopping. Mysterious creatures, they love <laughs> bread. So we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're gonna be a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, what's it mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, I have, a, I have one quick question. Oh my god. So I teach him, mama and daddy worked hard, so apes gave us a chance to have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. <laughs> uh-huh. Little Victor Forsor starts laughing. Oh daddy, we're gonna be so happy. Baby bro and I are going to play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's catch. <laughs> Anthony, please. If daddy has two baby bros to take care of, baby bros now have zero daddies because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> Jesus, you're all right, man. I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what are you doing here? Looking for this guy. Here's a picture. Have you seen him recently? Yeah, I've seen him. Jokey joke type guy. Smell really bad. Took him out. The bite home a couple of times. What do you smell like? Ah, you know, hard to describe. Poopy butt kind of smell. Mixed with perfume, cigarettes, herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Have you guys talked? Did he mention anything strange? Nah. He was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell talked for him. <laughs> Where can I find him now? 
I don't know. Try the bite, but it's a goopy place. Keep your eyes peeled. Thanks, Anthony. You're a true detective. Send regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. He is losing his shit. We got a new objective. Anthony. Caught up with Anthony outside the Vogue. Man is still the beaveriest beaver I know. Alright, great contact to have in case I need a ride around the city for some fresh cabman gossip. I love the music. <laughs> it's really loud. After suffering through endless stories about his kids and wife, I managed to draw something interesting out of him. Anthony drove Green home from the bite a couple of times. Seems like the bastard reeked of weird poopy herbal smell. Fancy cigarette, bad tea, perhaps a new drug? I should look around the club and ask for, see for myself. Okay. Ethan Simmons is rising jazz stars here tonight only at Bike Club. Neat. Should I check this out once I'm done with the case? No, probably not. Alright. Let's talk to his homies real quick. Yeah. Good evening. How are you doing, gentlemen? Why do you care? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man? Is Jess around? The fuck? Jess? What's going on? Oh, so you know him. Assholes me money. Been looking for him everywhere. Private Detective Howard Loiter. When was the last time you saw him? It's none of your business. Okay, the goal is to not get caught, so let's... Well, say hi to Derek here, because you two are probably not going to see your money again. I'll try to find the asshole. Have you seen him today? Hi, Derek. When's the last time you saw him? Today, but the wimp ass left early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig, eh? Heh. Did you. Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had coming. Where do you think he headed after work? What do you say, boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife. To the gutter where he belongs? Only ape knows. You're an asshole, you know that? Could it be someone new, a girlfriend? If you reckon harlots are a sort of girlfriend, then sure. Could be with one of them, for all I know. Do you boys spend time with them outside of work? Yeah. Used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday. He's not fun anymore, though, the bite. Could he be there now? If he is, sure to let him know he's as good as dead. Good luck, Rack. Sure thing, thanks for your help. Or lack thereof. Ugh. Okay, this is the bite. The first time I didn't um, flirt with the bouncer, but I'm gonna try to do it now. No interest for raccoons, goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons will change your mind. My friend Carlos is waiting, go ask him. Are you sure we can <laughs> arrange something, big boy? What do you need? Give me a personal invitation signed by the great apes. I'll let you in, deal? I'm um, sure, bye. <laughs> that didn't work. Hold shift to run. Just go on the alley. This is another raccoon. Howard, well I'll be damned, is that you, Larry? It's me, it's been too long. What's going on, old man? I'm actually a tad busy right now. Ha, who are you calling old, you old rascal? Same old, can't complain. What's going on with you? We'll catch up later then. Actually, I could use your help if you wouldn't mind. Not at all, what can I do for you? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife who is now struggling to get a divorce. Can't tell client confidentiality. Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Mm. Must be a shifty guy, what's he like? He is. He's about my height, chubby wears green hat. I haven't seen him, sorry. Hope you find him. You always knew what to do with guys like this. Come back anytime. I'm here often and hear people talk. Not sure yet, but I think I know where to look. Awesome. Go on then. Don't let an old slug like me keep you. Well, the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Oh, Larry, don't talk like that. <laughs> Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Have any ideas on how I could get in? You're in luck. They're my neighbors. Let's see. They use the alley door for deliveries, or you can ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Is the back door open usually? Unfortunately, no. They buzz people in using the intercom. Delivery truck usually arrives later in the evening. Well, well then, who's Johnny? Squirrel Kid. 
with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal is with the bite, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny sell? What do you and you think he'll help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. Bet my rings he's easier to persuade than the bouncer. What sort of store, store, what sort of stuff does Johnny sell? And what did you mean Johnny's chummy with the bite? What does he sell? He sell crack? As far as I can tell, your typical like hype catnip sh shatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. That's probably what the otters high on, honestly. If it stinks. Who comes up with these? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Uh, monkey butt? What do you mean Johnny's chummy with the bite? Alright. Okay, now that's... Yeah. Words the new things the shit. Perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Tanky thing. That guy just threw up. <laughs> Does it have a kind of herbal stink? I have no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. And what do you mean Johnny's chummy with the bite? He's friendly with the staff, and I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Tell me more about Johnny. What's he like? Maybe Johnny's got some business or partnership with the bite. Alright, I think I've milked enough information out of you now. Tell me more about Johnny. What's he like? I don't know him very well. He's young. Likes his fur gel. Maybe he's, maybe he's got some partnership. Could be. What are your working theories? It's got to be mutually beneficial somehow. You might be onto something. I'm not sure. All right, I think I've got enough information out of you. <laughs> Thanks, man. You got it, Howard. It's no trouble. A welcome distraction, really. In fact, if you want to know more about the bite, all you got to do is ask. I think I got enough for now. I got to go convince Johnny to help me. run. Spano. Johnny! Squirrel. What up, old man? Hey, what's up, old man? Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Gerald. Me. Are you Johnny? Yeah, right. What do you need? Got Shatterfang. Heard you got monkey butt. Can you get me into the bite? Perhaps. Why? I want that stinky shit. <laughs> I'm a detective. My target is inside the club. Ooh. Now, see, I chose this one the first time. And I feel like that was a mistake. So I'm gonna go with the truth, I guess. What are you serious? Prove it. Um, how do I prove it? I don't need to prove anything, but I might consider not turning you into the cops if you help me out. Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask if it wasn't serious? I can't for now, you have to trust me. I don't trust no stripy mobster. <laughs> Why would you say that? You don't even know me. I don't need to know you. I know you <laughs> to know you're kind. Ooh, a little racism. Well, you're right. Forgive me if I somehow offended you. You're pathetic, so you really need to get in, huh? Yes, yes, I really, really do. Help me, Johnny. Ah, oh, man, okay, I'm tired of you. Let's go, then. Meet you at the entrance. Yeet! Okay. That went a lot better than last time. At least he pities me now, and he'll let me in because of pity. So, talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Where you been? Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. We're in. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful dog ladies. A little too high end for my taste. Renee, I didn't talk to you the first time, but. Well, you're unusual. Sorry? You're unusual. 
means you come with a story. I love a good story. Renee Wilson. Ooh, I'm gonna tell the truth. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Howard. Maybe you're the one giving out fake names and you're protecting, you're projecting onto me. Calling it, that's a line. You would have said it that no matter what name I gave. Well, I'm higher tonight. Interesting theory, but I can back up mine. See, business cards don't lie. Could be an elaborate ruse. You could have those, <laughs> you had those printed to dupe even the skeptics. To what end, I wonder? Renee Wilson is a mask. You wear it well, but your true persona is slipping through the cracks. Your true fursona is slipping through the cracks. The intrigued, what am I running away from? You got in <laughs> you got tangled in some illegal affair, annoying suitors. Uh, yourself, bam. Can't decide if that's deep or cliched. I'm gonna keep the card, by all means. If you run into something newsworthy, you know who to call. An investigative journalist? How's that gig? It's a living, usually. Have you seen a gentleman here tonight? No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. Who's love? Who's singing? She's a dog. She's not gonna want to talk to me. I can talk to like anyone. Hey there. You here from Eden for Eden Simmons show too? I'm so happy to see her live. Finally. Haven't heard her before. It's a nice sound though. Not quite. I'm actually running sort of an errand. And sorry. I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen an otter gentleman? Here's his photo. Yeah, let's get right to it. Oh, I don't know, maybe, but I wasn't paying close attention. Couldn't be sure. Oh, well, you did say... Oh, well. Did you say Eden Emmons is playing that? She sounds good. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. Got a record player just for her. May seem a bit extravagant, but definitely worth the investment. She's mostly all I listen to. Someone's obsessed. Was the first time you're catching her live? Yeah, my mom doesn't approve of the place. I had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. Oh yeah, that's something we have in common. Oh, color me intrigued. If you're not for the music, what are you sneaking for? Can you keep a secret? Cross my didn't I show her the photo already? Wait, why is that a secret? He can't know I'm looking for him. Oh no. I think I saw him earlier tonight. Oh. Did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the jade colored dress. Okay, I didn't get that information before. Should have talked to her earlier. Was his hat green? Did he have a briefcase with him? Was his hat green? Oh, yes! And so was his tie. I thought it was funny. Did he have a briefcase with him? Not sure. I'm sorry. Thanks. Enjoy the show. Details. Audrey. Isn't, th isn't this too dreamy? What do you mean? God, I love this music. Wanna come dance with me? Sorry, I'm looking for Jeremy Green. Let's see if we'll dance. Hmm, sorry, no. Ooh, can you at least answer a couple questions for me? Not really, leave me alone, okay? <laughs> sorry to bother you. Hey, honey, name's Ingrid. Well, can I help you with something? Just looking for a friend? Maybe I've seen him. He's an otter, about as tall as I am. Haven't seen any about tonight. He wears a pair of square-shaped glasses. Sorry, honey, haven't seen your friend. Maybe he's late. Were you supposed to meet here? This is the bite on Granville, right? Yes, that's right, honey. I gather it's your first time here? Yeah, honestly, I feel a bit out of place. Yeah, I feel a bit disoriented, honestly. I didn't think it would be such a fancy place. Well, while you wait for your friend, you can get a drink. You either, you could either sit at a table or, and wait for K Kira, or go straight and ask Boy at the bar. <laughs> Thank you, do you work here? Because otherwise, I'm sorry I made you a tour guide. You could say that I'm part of the staff. 
You've an air of hostess about you, but I haven't seen you greet guests. I sort of am a hostess, but not for the bar. Sounds That sounds non-committal. It's supposed to be non-committal. Now that you're intrigued, I can disclose only bite regulars get to find out what only bite regulars get to find out, and you'll have to come back if you want to know. I'm beginning to suspect you're only here to bewitch the clientele. Not a bad theory, did it work? I'm feeling... I have a feeling I'll be seeing you soon. For now, I'll keep looking, poking around. boo doo 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 Alright, I screwed this up the last time with this, whatever this lady is. Polar bear, he's a bouncer. He ain't gonna let me do none of that. Let's see if I can lie to her again. You look a little lost. Is it that obvious? I wouldn't have bothered pointing it out otherwise. I must admit it isn't my usual scene. You, on the other hand, seem right at home. What gave it away? You've been chatting up anyone who will talk to you. Here I thought I was being friendly. Is that all? I'll be honest, I don't frankly the sort of establishment. The etiquette escapes me. So then what brings you here today? I'm not trying to stir any trouble, are you? Wouldn't dream of it, just trying to break out of the old routine. How's that working for you? Pretty well, I'm enjoying the conversation. Now, I'm gonna have to be honest with her, because I lied before and... Oof. She got on me for that. Private investigator. Exciting. And what made you think you'd be welcome here? Why wouldn't I be? I'm a guest like every one other person. I'm solving a case and ended up here following a lead. Perhaps you could answer questions? I knew I wouldn't. The bouncer explicitly told me that, which is rude and suspicious. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Really? I don't think so. I would... I would have to ask you to leave! And who are you? Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. And don't worry, Mr. Loiter. We'll be seeing each other again soon. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. I'm getting kicked out again. Man! What am I supposed to tell this lady about her husband? Clarissa Bloodworth. She's hiding something. Green is there. Just need to find another way. And... Yeesh. Fourteen ninety nine for a trim. One madman would pay for something you it could get at home with a pair of scissors. Mm -hmm. Bowl cut. Cut for a bowl. Shoot the downy. That's downy right there. At least in the booth, he'll eat my brains out if he sees me. How he doesn't see you is beyond me. Old earners still tending to the shop. Like always. He used to give me free candy when I was a kid. I should go in and say hi before he gets driven out by some supermarket chain. Whatever the animal version of Walmart is in this universe. Hey, Sid. I'm gonna talk to everybody now. Feeling peckish? Got a s I've got sweet and savory. You can mix and match. Make your own trail mix. How about it? Sorry, do you hang around Granville often? Oh, do you have unshelled pumpkin seeds? <laughs> Do you have trash? I'm a raccoon, I love trash. Of course, got salted and unsalted. Each baggie's worth half a loon. I'm broke, I ain't got that kind of money. But I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. Uh, take one there or none. I'll have one. Say you hang around Greenville often. I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? I need to find a way through the bite. Fancy jazz bar? I assume you tried the front door. Got kicked out through the front door. Uh-oh. Maybe there's a back door? I really don't know the place very well. You look like you're itching to ask something. What is it? Why'd you get kicked out anyway? They didn't like that I was snooping around. Why are you snooping around? I'm a private eye working a case. I owe some money to the bartender. Didn't know it'd be a shift. Sorry, I can't say. Gotta run. It ain't your business. You gonna tell everybody. I already told too many people. Garbage bin, sick through the garbage. Let's see, socks, takeaway, six. Aha, ticket to the bite. I think that's like a back alleyway thing. I don't think you give that to the bouncer. Because I tried to give him the ticket to the bite before, and he was like, Psh. So you got a piece of paper? <laughs> Alright, I 
I'm gonna try to talk to Bubba, whatever his name is. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Sure, shoot, let's do this. For a half a loon, everybody wants stuff for money. <laughs> for a half a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. All right, here you go. Front page today's grade eight parade. Preparations underway, celebration starts Friday. Thanks, man, see you around. Thanks for taking my money. For basic information about something I don't really care about. Okay, I gotta be ready to crouch now. What kind of dog is he? Not a very good one. Do -do -do. Hello, sir. Can I talk to the guy in the car? Nope. Let's try this alleyway one more time. Where you been? We expected you two hours ago. Apes. Stevie mix up the dates. Can you buzz me in? Damn it, I got stuck in the jam. Let me in. Oh, sorry. Uh, I pressed the buzzer on accident. No, no, no. Come on in. Going. Eh, we back inside. We back inside. Okay, that's the freight lift. Packaging lift going downstairs needs a turnkey. Dirty pots. This doesn't look very clean. Wouldn't need here even if they kick, if they didn't kick me out. I want to go back outside because we just got in here. Ooh, should I? Should I? Should I not be in? Can I? Can I sneak up? Yeah. Ooh. Being sneaky, we snuck upstairs. I know Mr. Mr. Green's up here getting murdered or something. Press control to crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Got it. I don't know, I'm crouching. The stink is coming from the end of the hall. Green might be there. It has to be careful. Ooh! No. No. You failed! What was I supposed to do? Um. Um. He He's here really fast. Do I... Do I? Let's fight. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure this out sooner rather than later. But... Oh, okay. I'm behind the goddamn chair, right? Okay, he's doing something different now. <laughs> Do. No, you don't see anything. Um, some weird shit going on in there. Okay, God, I'm behind all the furniture. Fuck off, dude. Do I... Oh, okay, private room, got it. Shit, I missed him. He's just been here, I can smell the monkey butt. <laughs> Maybe he left something behind, I could help with that. Painting. Green tie is stuck behind the frame. What if... It budged. Oh, don't make no noise. What the? Secret lift? And Green went in there? Wonder what's on the other side. Alright, let's let's snoop for a second. Green hat. Green's green hat. Herbs. This must be monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs. But oh boy, it stinks. Okay. There's nothing else to be had. Some fruity statues. Let's get in there. Might just well take a shot, get in there and press the button, find the guy, or maybe something more exciting. The club is definitely hiding something. Okay. Okay. Do I? Okay. There's no option to go back out, so let's go to it. The fuck's this place? What are they burning here? Clothes? What the fuck? Oh my god, they're eating him. Oh my god. Okay, I don't want to go back down the lift. Scissors. Should take these in case I need to cut something. Get out of here. Or someone. Jeez. Where the fuck are we? Okay. Be prepared to crouch at any... A freezer. Green wanted an ice cream and went through the secret painting. Get it? Doesn't make sense. Gotta keep digging. Cork board with shit on it. Inventory. Delivery schedule. What's this? Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note or mess up the inventory. 
We mess up the inventory. Nothing else. Took honey. Is there anything else? No. Intercom. It's an intercom connected to the other rooms in the building. There's a list of extensions by close by. Dial bar, dial freezer, dial packaging, dial kitchen, leave. Dial packaging? Nobody picks up. Uh, dial bar? Boy speaking. Hey, boy. Greg, are you stuck in the freezer again? Yes. No, just checking the connection. Wait, what? Who is this? Uh, dial kitchen. Kitchen, listen, you suck. Um, it's Greg. Stuck in the freezer again. Trackers, pizza, and order a large pepperoni. Fucking hell, Greg. When are you gonna learn? Hold up, I'm coming. Somebody's coming. What do I do? Doors close. The hatch is open. Might be able to crouch. Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen like that. Okay. Understood. Do I use the intercom again? Do I leave? Um... I messed it up with boy. You suck yeah, Greg, what's up? Hang up. Alright, I'm gonna need to go back here because uh -huh. Do I <laughs> There I am right there. Um do I Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Always wondering when I'd end up in a place like this. Yippee ki yay! <laughs> oh shit. Okay. This is. Oh, okay. Oh. But I don't think I can just walk past him just because his back is turned. I think I need to. No, you don't see anything. I think I need to call him, make him go in there, and then come crawling out. But you can't run. Kitchen. Thomas Greg. Hang up. Crouch. Get, 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 get. No, what are you doing? Wait, no, 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 no. Go back to the game. Mm -hmm. He didn't show up and it glitched out a little bit, so. Oh, there's like. Okay, there's two furries in here. Is he gonna see me if I- Ooh, yep. <laughs> Try again. Okay, so that was kind of confusing. So do I call him? Go to the kitchen, say it's Greg, do a one. Crouch, instead of pressing the Windows button. Mixer. Come on, go over there and look at it. Bye, furry man. Um. Wow, I gotta do all that before homeboy over there comes back he ain't gonna check it he don't work here man oh, ugly ass boy okay do it how do I know he's not gonna fucking see me when I He ain't see me. No, no. How many times are they gonna believe that Greg is stuck in the freezer? Immediately go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. 
come on, come on, immediately, come on. I don't even think this dude's okay. Gosh, okay. Phew, that was close. Looks like the locker room for staff, no sign. Let's get nosy. This is weird. Here's a family favorite, Apes Delight. I ain't seen that one ape. They must be like the high elves of the society and they don't hang out with the rest of us. Rising star Andrew West pushes, okay, whatever. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers in your locker? <laughs> you. How do I take this? I can't take it. Okay. Okay, let's move some stuff around. There's a playing card in here for whatever good reason. Some tickets to a thing. Those, um... Are these related to the shapes? This seems related to the shapes. Let's copy really quick. Greg, keep turnkey downstairs by your station. Nice, thanks for being in a doofus, Greg. Greg's gonna get fired. lock packaging lift if only I could find a turnkey that would lead me upstairs what is this this is like subway instructions I'm gonna leave everything that isn't uh, five are these Six, four, I don't know, five, it's a queen, spades, I think. The wall is an embrace. It sets the mine at ease and keeps the cat, the city safe. What is all this mess? I don't see a connection. I see this written here. On your locker. Oof. It's a tough one. I'm gonna have to come back to this one. Every time I go, it's arranged a certain way. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe. 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 Uh, maybe this. Maybe this line up. Bam, bam, bam. What are what? There's something I'm not seeing. This is ripped off from something, but oh wait, I have an inventory from the garbage can. <laughs> That's a ticket, Renee's card, newspaper, rusty ass scissors. Can't do anything with any of these. The bite, Renee, the lift, staff room. There seems to be a staff break room, all right. Which way is out? The door leads further into the belly of the beast. That's passcode's luck. There's a right here, but it needs a turnkey, which I do not have. Found a note. One of the lockers, Greg. Keep your turnkey downstairs by your station. Assuming Greg's station is behind 
past code locked door, there might be hope yet of escape. We're just trying to escape now? We're prisoners in this? Greg! Gregory. Okay, sounds like this. Bow, bow, bow. Rising Star Andrew West pushes travelers. This is all weird. What is all this mess, man? Hold it over something in it. This seems very convoluted already. Um, no. No. Seems like a perfect lineup right there. Five. Right. One. Dun, dun, dun. This is just big enough for that. Five one zero. Five one zero four. Man, hope we know alarm goes off. Five one zero four. Gregory, you do this. Okay, let's look again. Four one zero five. Four one zero five. Yee. How would I know? This one's on top, so maybe it's one zero four five one zero four five I could try you know every combination they make for that set of four letters uh, four. no one four zero five Lord these don't matter the ones with the words don't matter Or at least I think. Dun, dun, dun. This one's for four. That can't be eight because it doesn't line up very well. One. Am I missing something with this? Oh! Damn, girl, the shapes. 
Okay. So a diamond is five and a diamond is the third, third digit. Where's the triangle? I'm gonna assume this is a triangle, so zero. So four. No, 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 five of diamonds, five diamond. A uh, diamond then triangle, maybe, maybe, maybe this is triangle? What's square and what's circle? This is circle, so it's four. Four, five, zero. Right? No, that makes a square. She, maybe that's triangle. <laughs> maybe this is triangle. Maybe this is square, because there's a little square there. So, zero, four, five, one, zero, four, five, one, zero, four, five, one, zero, four, five, one. Zero. Four, five, one. Oh. Oh, this is ooh, this is ominous. Oh my god. If there are any more puzzles like that, I'm gonna get taken out of the game. It's so dark. What they do down here? Who all who all come down here? <laughs> Man. Okay, there's some lockers over here. Oh. Uh oh. I see a body. I already clearly see a body. Oh. This lady. Oh my fucking what? <laughs> Let's look at the body. Green, he's dead. Fuck. What have you gotten yourself into? I mean, drugs, obviously. There's a little peephole here. Oh. Oh, this is to hide. Is somebody coming? Oh, that was smart. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Ugh. Okay, coming. Like, this turned into an infidelity case to a straight-up murder. What do now? New objective. Yeah, what is our new objective? What are we gonna do? New objective. Find out if Green was in the bite tonight or no. We did that. Or he might have gone next. Everybody's hush-hush about that because he was getting edited. Key. Turn key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Body. Sorry, Jez. You didn't deserve this. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Packages. Snoop. Delivery order. Bite Foos LLC. Startling Cider Limited. What the fuck is this? It's flesh? Oh no, Soylent Green is made out of people. Is it a- oh, is it a callback? Soylent Green, his name is Green. Soylent Green is made out of people. Green's gonna be butchered for food. They're eating people. Howard, run now. I can run. But where? I'm gonna get caught down here, ain't I? Loading. Alright, turnkey. We got it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's hope we don't get caught. Bet. Alright. That's the way out, no? Uh-oh. Do I... I won't go out there. Do I... Okay, yeah, escape. Oh. It's all shaken up. What's he gonna tell this lady? He should've taken a picture. Oh, he's throwing up! He's throwing up poo poo. City man. <laughs> oh, 
That's nice. I like that. Eggnut Productions. Thank you for playing back on Demo Prologue. Its contents are going to be evolving into full game release. I can't wait to see when. I will definitely follow. That's awesome. I'm going to upload this stream so it'll be permanently out there. Voice acting by me. I did a really good job. I really like the game. Just under an hour, the first playthrough of this. Thank you to our incredible Discord community for being excited and patient. KFC Nashville Hot Chicken. <laughs> that was one of their supporters. Big gay skeleton, always. Maximilian. And all their game backers. Cool. How do I? How does one? Something just move. Okay. We can conclude the stream. <laughs> 